In this video, we are going to discuss infrared transmissions and what is the basic difference between infrared transmissions and microwave transmissions that we can cover here. So, infrared signals can be used for short range communication in a closed area using line of sight propagation. So, it should be communicated in the closed area in the line of sight propagation that means from the sender to the receiver the infrared must be coming in the line of sight either directly or through some reflections on some, some colorful objects. So, let us, let us discuss more on this. So, infrared signals can be used for short range communication in a close area using line of sight propagation. Infrared communications is achieved using transmitters, receivers also in as a whole we can call it as transceiver that modulate non-coherent infrared, infrared light and transceivers must be within the line of sight of each other either directly or via reflection from a light colored surface. So, light color surface means here we can consider the ceiling of a room. So, from there we can have the reflection and from there the communications can be established between the transceivers. One important difference between the infrared and the microwave transmission is that the former does not penetrate walls. So, that is the that is the difference between the infrared and the microwave. Thus, the security and interference problems encountered in the microwave systems are not present in case of infrared system. So, further there is no frequency allocation issue with the infrared because no licensing is required for the frequency allocation. So, in this way we have discussed what is the infrared transmissions. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.